Happy Friday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. We certainly had a soggy end to the week here, and we're still going to have some raindrops around the last two days of October as this storm system slowly moves off to the east northeast here and exits the region. When we move to the back side of this, I do expect another bit of an uptick in those rain chances. That'll be for the second half of our Saturday. Winds, they're not going to be as blustery as we kick off our weekend here. Winds uh, becoming fairly calm as we get to Saturday morning and only a light breeze throughout the day, so not as much of a factor for you. The temperatures, they'll be slightly warmer Saturday. So here's how this is going to play out. Your Friday evening, you notice there's not as much rain showing up. We'll have much more sporadic showers, pockets of drizzle, and a lot of clouds around too as we drop to only about upper 40s is what I'm looking at for lows. A few spots, if we see any holes in the clouds, have a chance to drop to the mid 40s. Generally, though, we're going to see temperatures not moving too much here as we go through through the next 24 hours. Now, by the afternoon, you see about mid to near upper 50, so a little warmer. You notice there's not a whole lot of rain showing up. It'll be very sporadic Saturday, but I can't rule out showers or drizzle at any point during the day with this storm system at play. Now, Saturday evening, and this would include any trick or treating hours that take place Saturday after sunset. Rain chances are going to come up a little bit. You can see a bit more numerous rain showing up across the area. Some more of those heavier downpours possible. Again, not as widespread or steady and prolonged, but that chance is there for a few more areas of more moderate rainfall through Saturday evening and overnight. By Sunday morning, this is going to start moving to a little bit more of a lake effect look. And so we'll still see pockets of rain and drizzle through at least Sunday morning. For Halloween afternoon, you notice the clouds trying to thin out. Out a bit. Second half of the day, rain chances are much lower, but you still could see a few raindrops or pockets of drizzle during trick or treating hours on Halloween, both during the afternoon and evening. Now, we'll look for those clouds to try and thin out a bit, but under any that are out there, I wouldn't be surprised to see some raindrops. So, best bet, plan for that chance of encountering rain. Take the umbrellas with you. The yards are all going to be muddy, so keep that in mind. Maybe bring a little extra towel or something to wipe the kiddos' shoes off if they're running through any of those yards. Now, by Sunday night, again, could still be a few lingering sprinkles around. We're going to start Monday, the work week dry, and then the bigger story next week will be the temperatures as they're going to drop. So rain is going to stay high on our list here, as does ponding with continued pockets of some showers or drizzle for tonight and 48 degrees, that low temperature. For the morning, again, chances there for showers or drizzle. It's not going to be a complete washout all morning long. And as we get into the afternoon, still seeing some scattered pockets of drizzle or showers around. I do expect a few more raindrops around Saturday night, Sunday going with occasional showers and even a chance to see a little sun in the afternoon. And then as we go through that seven day outlook for Monday, while we start things off for November 1st dry, we're going to see rain chances creep back up as colder air pours in. Notice the highs and lows will drop to around the freezing mark, highs in the 40s. And if you notice there on Wednesday, that chance for some wet snowflakes mixing in with any of the rain that's around. Same thing would go for the small chance that I have for precipitation on Thursday and during the morning hours, especially. Could be a few snowflakes around with that. And you see skies trending mostly cloudy for much of next week.